E pluribus unum, many come together as one. The United States of America's motto, E pluribus unum. Who knows what that means? Seen it and said it a thousand times. What does that mean? America's motto, out of many comes one. Very darn Burton. Over the centuries, Lexington has been a political, social, and economic reflection of the bluegrass state. Ties to slavery have been no exception. As an early metropolitan center, Lexington was a trading hub for all forms of exports, including human beings. Enslaved Africans on the surrounding farms and within the city were sold and purchased at the Cheapside auction block the largest auction site for the enslaved west of the Alleghenies. They were also held at downtown jails including Robards, McGowan's, and Pullum's slave jails, and with transactions recorded at the Fayette County Courthouse. Although the internal market in the United States for enslaved Africans was one of the largest forced dislocations in world history, and the antebellum southern market for the enslaved its central commercial agent. The reality of the domestic trade remains abstract for most Americans today. Remains of this vital history are largely hidden in plain sight on the American commemorative landscape. This hidden history is part of the wound that enslavement created in the foundation of America. Imagined in 2016 and launched in 2018, I Was Here began as a set of 21 ancestor spirit portraits created by photographing contemporary African Americans as archetypal ancestor spirits. The portraits symbolize iconic images of man, woman, child, mother, father, brother, sister, a set of spirit figures to embody the human family. The ancestor spirit figures establish the presence of those whose humanity was unseen. The project aims to reshape how we see each other, who we were as a nation, and how we can heal the spiritual, economic, educational, and political chasm that enslavement created. They transform sites significant to enslavement into on-the-street museums to educate and unify communities while simultaneously creating memorials in public space. Latitude and longitude integrated into the images offer a reference to locations central to the long life of the transatlantic Middle Passage slave trade, of which Lexington was one cog in a national wheel. I Was Here takes the humanities out of the museum, university, and gallery to give citizens the opportunity to come face to face with a visual history lesson rarely, if ever, encountered on the avenues of America. By linking the portraits to a known and knowable past, we are working together to grapple with the ongoing legacies of human bondage in the United States. Through the I Was Here app, you can now experience this project in augmented reality. Take the walking tour around the courthouse now. Simply click on the location in the app and point your phone screen to the specified side of the building. There are nine total locations to view on the tour surrounding the courthouse, and each location has its own unique experience. Come with us on this journey and be immersed in the power of I Was Here. <laughs>